How could you live if you knew that there was a machine inside you with the potential to shock you at any given time? You miss a couple meds, out. The reason why it was put in was because her heart's prone to an abnormal rhythm. There are certain things that make abnormal heart rhythms more likely as well, things like stress, excessive caffeine intake, or even using recreational drugs like cocaine or MDMA. They don't make the heart go this level of crazy though, usually they cause something called atrial fibrillation rather than ventricular fibrillation. That type of heart rhythm can be stopped in more creative ways. If the person's blood pressure gets stable after this and the cause is found and eliminated, then there won't be a need to implant any kind of defibrillator afterwards. There is a last line of defense as well before living in constant fear, and that's an ablation procedure where a cardiologist finds the area of abnormal tissue in the heart and actually freezes or burns it away. That looks painful.